In this video, we are going to look at the elbow flexion test for cubital tunnel syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Cubital tunnel syndrome is a peripheral entrapment neuropathy of the ulnar nerve at the elbow. It's the second most common entrapment neuropathy of the upper limb and commonly seen after trauma resulting in a fracture or a dislocation at the elbow, arthritis or repetitive strain. Sensitivity of this test ranged from 36 to 93% and specificity from 40 to 99% in different studies. No pooling is possible as the test executions were not identical and different cutoff values were used for what constitutes a positive test. Furthermore, the quality of the studies varied, which is why we give the test at best a moderate clinical value. To conduct the test according to its original description, the patient is standing or sitting. With the patient's arms in the anatomical position, the elbows are maximally flexed, the forearms maximally supinated, and the wrist is placed into extension. This position is maintained for up to three minutes. The test is positive in case of the reproduction of pain, tingling or numbness along the distribution of the ulnar nerve during the three minutes. The reasoning for this test is that the aponeurosis of the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris, which forms the cubital tunnel, is drawn taut over the nerve with elbow flexion, which results in compression of the ulnar nerve. Alright, you can check out another test for cubital tunnel syndrome on the left, and if you want to dive deeper into the literature used in this video, check the links in the video description down below. If this video was valuable, give it a like, and if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. Links to our ebook, app, and online course are in the description down below as well, if you want to check those out. And as always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.